All right, guys, I'm back at it again today. I gotta admit, I'm a little tired. You know, four straight days of fishing, but I had to try this stream. You know, it's a river I've been wanting to fish for a couple of weeks now, and I finally got out here. It's a nice stretch of water. I have seen a bunch of fishermen. You know, it's very rare I see guys fishing on spots that I, you know, explore. Um, but today I did see a bunch of guys up, upstream. Uh, I'm going to be sticking with my 10 foot 4 weight. Um, what I did differently today is I changed my leader. I'm running with 9 foot 6x tapered down to 6x tippet. Um, sticking with pheasant tail on top, size 16, followed by a hare's ear, size 18. Both are beaded so I can get down a little faster. I just added one small weight. Uh, a lot of this water out here is fast moving water with deep runs. Um, pretty big river compared to the, the places I've been fishing over the last month. So hopefully we have another good day. We'll be targeting rainbows and maybe some browns, rookies. I really don't know what's in here. Um, I heard that they stock in here. So let's see if we can pull out some stock trout, maybe get a big breeder. All right, let's see what happens. Stay tuned. All right, fishing another new river today. Nice stretch, no luck upstream, just a couple small little stock rainbows. Came across this nice deep run. Had one hit so far, but I missed them. A lot different fishing these bigger bigger rivers than the rivers I've been fishing over the last couple of weeks. Technique has to change big time. Add a little bit more weight. Make sure your fly's getting down. I'm sticking with the flies I have on right now. Pheasant tail and a hare's ear. I mean, I'm sure if we put on some egg patterns or something, San Juan worms, stuff like that, squirmy wormies, we'd probably catch a bunch of the stock rainbows in here. Which are a lot of fun. Catching the stock fish, getting to a nice breeder. And there we go, guys, just like that. Fish on. This feels like a nicer one. Oh, nice little rainbow. Nice rainbow. Safe release. That one hit the hair's ear. Let's see if we can get another one. All right, today we explored, I'm with my buddy Pete over there. We explored a river all the way downstream of this brook. Now this brook is a tributary to the river we were just fishing. You know, we were catching some stock rainbows. We saw this brook, you know, heading into that river and decided, you know, forget the stockies, we'll, we'll explore and come upstream and fish this brook. And we've been catching a lot of beautiful brook trout. You know, and that's the great thing about exploring because you get off the beaten path, walk in the middle of the woods, go upstream, you never know what you can get. You know, so let's see if we can get some more brook trout. 
All right, what we're doing right now is Pete's standing over there. He wants to fish this run right here. So he's gonna show basically how you should approach that water so you don't spook these fish. I mean, I'm standing at least 20 plus feet from that pocket. So what he's gonna do is he's gonna get up behind the trout, be as quiet as possible, and get some nice cast in there. All right, Pete's on a nice brookie. Beautiful brookie. The midge. He took the midge? Yeah. I'm telling you guys, we've been here for just about 40 minutes so far walking upstream. And what a great call. Because we're having a lot of fun, I'd rather you know, explore another new little tributary off the of main river and catch some beautiful wild brook trout and catching those stock rainbows. Right, Pete? Yeah. Way to go. A lot of fun. I'm having some trouble here. This is not my usual uh, troubles. I'm trying to be gentle and keep the fish in the corner. Nice release. There he goes. Hey, let's get another one. That was awesome on the dry. <laughs> Alright, we're still heading upstream in this little brook. Man, it is absolutely beautiful out here. And I could really bet money that most of the people are just fishing that main river. I guarantee you not a lot of people are coming up into this little brook tributary and fishing. But I'm glad we did. I didn't get any of the catches on the GoPro. I wanted to take a break from the GoPro for a little bit. But we're catching a lot of nice wild brook trout. And the best thing about it is we didn't even know if there was brook trout in here. Rainbows, browns, anything. We had no clue. Just like that, guys. Just like that. Beautiful brookie. Got to explore new places. It's a must. Look at that beautiful trout. Let's get another one. All right, guys, just finished up the day. It was a lot of fun. You know, we fished a, a river we've never fished before with my best friend Pete. 
and um, fishing that river we saw a little tributary a brook coming down to the river and we decided to head up it and we actually got into some really nice brook trout so again exploring is always a lot of fun get out there and try it you never know what you're gonna get hit that like button subscribe thanks for watching